Hey there, quarantine camp. This is a wave. Of course, you knew that. You know what a wave is. But do you really know what a wave is? I mean, this is one kind of wave. It's a friendly wave, but the word wave can mean more than this. A wave is anything that moves back and forth and transfers energy, but not matter. Matter is stuff, anything that you can hold or feel. Even air is matter. Take a look at this slinky, for example. You can clearly see that there is a wave going from side to side. But we can also tell that the actual coils of the slinky aren't really moving all that much. Just enough to push the next coils in line. The same thing happens in this bag of water. A wave goes from side to side, but when I add these small white beads into the bag, you can see that they are not actually being carried from side to side. This is what I mean when I say that a wave transfers energy but not matter. Not all waves move through water. For example, sound waves move through gas like air or some waves move through fans at a stadium. The waves we're going to talk about today are called electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are what make radio signals possible, or x-rays, which take pictures of things like bones inside of our bodies, are also electromagnetic waves. Most electromagnetic waves move around us without us ever knowing. But as humans, we're lucky, luckier than say a sea cucumber. That's because we have special organs inside of our bodies that can sense some electromagnetic waves. Those organs are called eyes. And those electromagnetic waves are called light. Just like the wave we saw in the bag of water, light waves bounce back and forth as well. We call this kind of bouncing reflection. That is what's happening when we see something. Light waves that are produced from the sun or a candle or a light bulb are being reflected off of objects and then bouncing back into our eyes. When we look into a mirror, we usually see the reflection of ourselves bouncing directly back at us, kind of like a ball bouncing back to us off of a surface. But just like a ball bouncing off of a surface, if the surface is slanted, it doesn't bounce directly back to us. See? The same thing can happen with light waves. If light waves are reflected off of a curved surface, they bounce in the direction that the surface points them. Again, imagine bouncing a ball off of a curved surface. Light waves do the same thing, which can result in some pretty funny looking reflections. Light waves don't just bounce off of things. They can also go through lots of materials. They can go through air and water and glass, plastic, lots of other stuff. They can even travel through space, which is why we can see stars and distant galaxies. When a light wave is traveling through the air and then it hits another material, something peculiar happens. The light waves bend. This bending is called refraction. Look at this pencil when it enters the water. While it's outside of the water, the light waves bounce off the entire pencil the same way. But when I submerge part of it in the water, some of the light waves refract differently and they bounce back differently, making it appear deformed or bent. Here at the rim of the bowl, you can see the refraction almost makes it appear that the pencil is broken at the top. Then as it enters the water, you can see another point 
at which it appears to break and bend back on itself. As I move the pencil farther away, it actually magnifies the pencil in relation to what we see through the glass or the air. One famous example of light bending is when light waves go through something called a triangular prism. When a light beam shines through a prism, the different colors that make up white light refract at slightly different amounts. This means that the colors actually separate and you can see the entire color spectrum from red to violet. Keep an eye on the strip of white light that you see on the paper. As I angle the paper back, the spreading of the different colors becomes more apparent and you can see the colors appear distinct from one another. Sometimes you see this effect through special windows that have bevels. The other place you see this is when the sun shines through rain droplets. As light travels through the spherical water droplets, it refracts and the white light is separated into the color spectrum, otherwise known as a rainbow. The most functional use for bending light is with something called magnification. We use magnification in glasses or magnifying glasses. If we design glass with the right curved surfaces, we can bend the light in a way that makes the image easier for us to see. Lenses actually make an image appear closer or farther from your eye, depending on what suits you best. If you want, you can actually make your own magnifying lens with a glass of water. Or if you fill a resealable bag with water, it can be used as a magnifying lens as well. If you look around your house, you can probably find several examples of items that cause light waves to reflect and refract in fun ways. I hope you enjoy exploring and I can't wait to see your pictures.